So, can you tell us a bit about press, what it's about? It's about the press. It's about um, specifically a journalist who is probably an ex-hack, ex-sort of tabloid journalist, who has done a few shady things in his time. The inspiration for writing it, I think, came from reading an article about something that had happened and was happening in another part of the world, which moved me um, and I sort of related to in a, in a, in a sort of tangential way and got me thinking about the different ways in which journalists are treated in our country and other parts of the world. People will go to quite severe lengths at times to get a story that they think will sell papers and this, you know, at the upper end of the scale might include little things like exaggerations or guiding people to, to give them sort of the stories or the quotes that they need and at the very murkier end it includes things like phone tapping, um, impersonating policemen or doctors. I think there's just a very important conversation to be had at this moment in time because of disinformation, because of the rise of fascism and all of the kind of global sort of forces that we're seeing about, you know, what role the media has to play in the world, you know, how much can the media ever be, you know, the arbiter of truth, how much is it always going to be the weapon of the powerful. It's funny, it's sharp, it's ultimately moving and it's only an hour long. So doing a one-man play is quite terrifying. Um, obviously it will just be me on the stage for an hour, um, which feels quite exposing, um, but also very exciting. You mainly don't like that you have anyone else in the tea break to complain to about how the director's being really mean. That is true. There's no one there. There's, there's no, no other there's actors no actor. to have tea with and moan about the director. <laughs> there's only me. That is you difficult. You can't complain it's to true. me about me. Maybe we'll try it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah.